How's it going everyone? Welcome to my channel. So the other day I finally started watching Loki on Disney+. Plus. I've only finished the first episode so far, but I already saw an effect that I wanted to try to recreate. It's the one where they use the time twister to reset someone's position. Now, I'm not exactly sure how this works or the physics behind it, but it looks like some sort of displacement or time loop effect. The effect itself looks pretty simple, so I wanted to try using Premiere Pro to create it. So that's what today's video is going to be about, and now we're gonna jump into that. But first, really quick before we do, I wanna thank the sponsor of today's video, Storyblocks. Storyblocks has a great library made up of millions of video assets. You can find everything from high quality 4K stock footage to Premiere Pro and After Effects templates. They have some awesome stuff like green screen clips, transitions, title and logo animations, you name it. Storyblocks makes it so easy to create content that would be really difficult or almost impossible to make on your own. If I ever need a specific shot, say like an aerial shot of New York City, it's as easy as typing in aerial shot New York City and I found over 500 results. For only a single price per year, you're able to download unlimited video assets with Storyblocks. They've also recently introduced Restock, which is an ongoing initiative with the goal to widen the stock industry pipeline by supporting underrepresented communities in front and behind the camera. For too long, there hasn't been enough diverse representation in stock footage. Storyblocks is committed to changing that by hiring filmmakers who can capture genuine portrayals and experiences of people of different races, ethnicities, religions, sexual orientations, and more. This is very important and I applaud Storyblocks for what they're doing. I encourage you guys to check them out and I'll leave a link down in the description below with more information. For this effect, I filmed one shot that was locked off on a tripod. I ended up breaking this clip into four different parts. For the first part, I walked over to the stool and then acted like I was activating the time twister and being displaced to where I originally started in the scene. The second part, I went over to that area and acted like I was coming out of the time displacement. For the third part, I went back to the stool and quickly sat down on it again, acting like I was coming out of the time displacement one more time. And for the fourth part, I cleared the frame so I could get a clean plate of the room. Then I brought that footage into Premiere. Inside of Premiere, I added it to a new sequence and broke the footage into those four different clips. First thing I did was set the two clips next to each other where I'm supposed to displace for the first time. This way it looks like I'm disappearing from the stool and appearing in the back of the room. Then I took the part where I'm supposed to be reappearing on the stool and set that next to the part of me in the back of the room. Now it looks like I'm moving back onto the stool. Next, I selected these three clips and moved them up to video track two. I did this so I can stack the clean plate underneath them later. Then I made a cut on the first clip, four frames before it ended. After that, I grabbed the clean plate and dragged that over, stacking it underneath and made sure it started at the same time as the split layer. After that, I selected the split part of that clip, went up to the effect controls and selected the pen and the opacity tab so I could create a mask. Then I went over and created a mask around my body. After I finished with the mask, I came over and selected the stopwatch for the mask path. Then I went through the rest of those three frames and adjusted the mask to be around my body for each one. Next, at the beginning of those four frames, I selected the stopwatch for the opacity while it was set at 100%. Then went to the end of this part and set it to 0%. I also hit the stopwatch for the position, but didn't adjust anything with that yet. After that, I added the directional blur effect to this. I set the direction to 90 and the blur length to 10. Then I duplicated this part twice. I did that by holding down Alt or Option if you're on a Mac and clicking and dragging it up one video track. Then I just did that one more time so I had three layers of it. Then I selected the short clip on video track three and made sure the opacity started at 50%. I also adjusted the opacity for the short clip on video track two to start at 20%. After that, I offset the position of these three short layers. I started with the top one and moved its position to the right a bit. Then moved the position of the layer underneath that one in the same direction but a little bit further out. And then did the same thing for the layer under this one. Now you can see there are three different layers of me moving to the right, all fading out with different opacities. Then I went one frame forward and moved all of these layers over to the left, offsetting them again. This part didn't have to be too specific with the positioning. I just offset them to one side and then the other to make it look like my body was shifting quickly from side to side as it's fading out. And I just did this for all four of those frames. 
And that's kind of it for the whole effect. I just needed to pretty much repeat all those same steps for when I'm coming out of the time displacement. So at the beginning of the next layer, I went forward four frames and made a split at that point. Then made a mask around my body, keyframing and adjusting it so it's around me for all four frames. Then I set the opacity on this to 70%. I ended up not keyframing the opacity for this part where I'm coming out of the time displacement. I didn't need to since it goes back to 100% after these four frames are over. Then I added the directional blur effect again with the same settings as earlier. The direction set to 90 and the blur length set to 10. I also keyframed the position and duplicated this layer twice so I had three of them just like before. Then I changed the opacity on the top layer to 20% and set the opacity on the one underneath that to 40%. Then I went to the end of these layers and selected this bottom one right here and went in and hit the stopwatch for the scale. Then I went to the beginning of this layer and increased the scale to 120%. I did this so it looks like my body is starting out closer to the camera and then slides back into its original position. And then just like the first time, I went through and offset the position of these layers to go from one side and then the other, like if my body is being displaced. I made sure to have them meet up at the end, right before the next clip starts, the part where I'm acting like I came out of the time displacement. And there you go, just like that, I have the time twister displacement effect from Loki. I just repeated all of those same steps for when I transport back to the stool, and that gives me my final effect.